Mr. Devoir, a pleasure as always. Oh, I bet he's still fuming internally due to your no-sitting escapades. He doesn't like to lose a battle of will. Ah, yes, your side investigation. Thank you. You've got some spirit clearing up phony drag accusations alongside this murder. I'll talk to the mayor and see if I can get you the key to the city, Harry. Now let's talk real business. Actually, Rivershaw doesn't have a mayor. He refuses to discuss it further. It's probably just a small nuisance to him. Not even a speck of anger in his voice. That's that, then. Mega rich light bending guy? Oh my god! How did that get in there? Damn it to hell, Harry! I specifically told my guys to check all the containers for mega rich light bending guys. Honestly, Harry. We might be moving all kinds of suspicious things through this harbour, but I won't be caught transporting the light-bending mega-rich. I have a reputation to protect. You're right, Harry. I am a socialist. I'm going to catch the mega-rich guy inside the container and harvest his energy to power the harbour's fog lights. <laughs> I shudder to think what you're going to tell me next, Harry. Not for one second did he believe there's an actual mega-rich person somewhere in his container town. I'm very glad to hear that, Harry. One question. You didn't actually happen to stumble in and see what's inside the apartment, did you? He's trying to figure out if you're lying. There is no way to sway this man in any direction. He is unsuggestible and unswayable. Just tell the truth. Exactly the kind of fascist memorabilia I was expecting. Weasel probably prays to it every night for the downfall of the Union. He was testing you, and you succeeded. Now let's get down to brass tacks. It's time for men like me and you to figure out who's killed who and why. Real police work is going to start happening now. I promise you, Harry, this is going to be good. By now, I'm sure you've figured out who the dead man was working for. The bad guys. Wild pines. Sent to scare us. Another violent measure of the top hats against us flat caps. Harry, this strike is the culmination of many, many mistakes made by the Wild Pines group. They tried to shut the strike down by sending in armed mercenaries. You mean our victim? A security contractor? Can you imagine that? Workers standing in peaceful protest, united in the spirit of fellowship, and they send hired killers to mow us down with machine gun fire. He performs a motion as if spraying bullets from a machine gun. I'm talking beasts, hardened killers from proxy wars in Yisut, Seminine, Sadamaritsa. You name it, they've done it. Raping, killing, burning villages. Killing little children for the Senorita Pineapple Company, Harry. Those Senorita Pineapple people are scary motherfuckers. Decimating your state if you don't give them your pineapples. Everything they did there, they brought over here. They want to turn Revachol into a third world slum. Honestly, the only thing they didn't do is kill the village elephant. No, Harry, the elephant is metaphorical, and so is the village, but the mercs, 
and their brutality are very real. Now, I haven't personally witnessed the brutalities out there. I have the luxury of staying in my container, you see. If I need to go somewhere, they just move my container. Yes, I'm an old man, Harry. My legs aren't what they used to be. They lift my office with that big crane. It's actually very fun. You should try it. But enough about me and my fun container. The killers the company hired, I think there were three of them, all hardened commando types. One of them got downright suicidal, getting drunk, violent, a little rapey. Even their own negotiator couldn't control him. That's your boy, the one who likes hanging out and trees. By negotiator, you mean Joyce? Harry, what you need to realize is, we dock workers are not pushovers. We got grit, Harry. This whole neighborhood does. Push us hard enough and we push back. And when we do, we push to kill. An entire neighborhood of killers. Potentially, Harry. Potentially. We got arm wrestling champions, rowing club people, ex-coal miners, tough guys, all ready to spring into action for their home base. There's a militant wing inside the Union, a group of people whose duties don't involve manual labor, but peacekeeping in the neighborhood, making sure everything runs smoothly. That sounds a bit like organized crime. They're like you guys. Idealistic people who want to make sure bad things don't happen. And if they already have, well, punishment must follow. Again, that sounds like organized crime. So these idealists killed our victim? One day, Titus Hardy, leader of this peacekeeping faction, comes up to me and says, Boss, socialist democratic fervor drove us to take it upon ourselves to kill this beast that was burdening the land. He probably worded it differently, but that was the idea. Sure sounded to me like they killed him. <laughs> I gave them two weeks paid leave and told them to lay low to avoid retaliation. Aren't you worried we might arrest them for this? Oh, I'm not at all worried about that. These are not the kind of men who get arrested. They're Martin A's boys, tough and gritty. I'd like to see the man who takes them in. Besides, I sent my lawyer girl to look after them. Despite his boastful tone, he's having doubts about something. But what? Maybe he doesn't believe the boys really had it in them. They're his boys, after all. That's very clever, Harry. Yes, they might have said it just to impress some girls or something. But Titus has a bad temper, so the chances are 50-50. He thinks it's closer to 60-40. 60, they didn't do it. So they shot him. He was shot in the head before he was hanged. How odd. I don't know what to say, Lieutenant. They told me they hanged him. A hanged man is what I saw when I took a look into that yard. It's impossible to say if he's telling the truth, sire. What I do know is, the case is in safe hands. If anyone can get to the bottom of this shot and hanged man, it's my two little policemen. Godspeed, policemen. How do I know? Let me tell you about these people. That's their M.O. It's what they do. Last winter, some poor workers in Terminal E went on a little strike. The company sent in Sediment, a security contractor. The strike was over the workers' right to wear protective footwear, Harry. 
These guys turn up and start beating people. Tell you what, Harry, I wouldn't be surprised if we got the same mercenary company after a little rebranding. And I'm sure as hell not surprised to see an army of scabs under my gates. So you believe the scabs were organized by the security contractor? You said it. Hell, one of those guys looks big enough to take down that proverbial elephant. Boys like that don't just happen to show up during strikes. Of course, you're always one step ahead of me, Harry. I'm no genius. I'm in this position because people like me. Tribunal? That sounds serious, Harry. We union men should be shitting ourselves. I wish you hadn't told me that. I'm gonna lose sleep over this. Let's change the subject. He's clearly happy about the tribunal. Oh, Harry, what do I really think about the tribunal? You're trying to climb to second base with old Everard before you've even courted him properly. He wants you to do more things for him before. Oh, Liz is a bright one. I paid for that law degree myself, thinking it'll probably turn her all fancy. But hell, Harry, she came back a firebrand socialist. Sometimes she scares me with her zeal. Oh, they are simply fine young men, all seven of them. Exemplary union members, always working to advance their position in the local socialist democratic movement. Core members. Old Theo used to run them, but things really kicked into gear when Titus took the reins and named the group after himself. <laughs> Gotta love his initiative. Interesting. Who's second in command? They're almost all of them great guys, born leaders. Whatever happened, I'm sure they only had the best interests of Martin A's and Revachol in mind. Work with them. Hell, interview them. But don't fight them. They really are just like you. Men who like beer, women, and some order on the streets. Separate one from the herd. Oh, that would definitely be Fat Angus. His feet smell from a city block away, and he's always having noisy stomach troubles. Horrible, revolting guy. You would die, Harry. You would die and in the process start a bloody and completely unnecessary war between the Debardes Union and the Citizens' Militia. Angus, his ever-growling stomach and his smelly feet are all part of the Union. You have as much right to arrest him as I have to arrest your partner here. Actually, less, because this is my hometown, my territory and my backyard. You are a guest here, Harry. Please remember that. Oh, Harry. <laughs> this is getting real grim and there's no need for that. We are friends. But of course, it's the least I can do for my good friend Harry. I'll do it right after we've concluded this talk. You can now go and tell Titus about this. See what he has to say. Also, Harry, here's five real. Oh, I wasn't offering it to you, just holding it out there. But I'm willing to share information. Was there anything else? Was it a good talk? I'm not sure we made much headway here. I was hoping we'd bust the case wide open. Heck, I even wanted to tell you what I really want to achieve with the strike. I don't know what happened, Harry. I wanted you to feel like Mr. Martin A's. And of course, I also wanted you to find your gun. But it's like I can't completely trust you, yet. Yes, Harry, it's like I can't fully trust you if you're not a man of the left. I want to, but I just can't. A man of the left. So you have to be a social democrat. He's been hurt too much in the past by men who aren't social democrats. What does your heart tell you about your lost gun, Harry? Does it tell you to forget about it? Or do you think it wants to be found? I think it's lonely and cold. I think it wants to be found and I have a proposal for you. And what would this entail? 
Once again, I require nothing unethical or illegal of you. You just need to get two little signatures on this piece of paper, and then mail it to my accountant in La Delta. It depends. I don't think what we just got from Mr. Clare was very useful. But he thinks it's your call. As I said, it weighs on me heavily. But once we get really talking, well, I'm going to hand you the keys to Martin A's and maybe even help you figure out who's behind this killing. He's saying as little as possible, as vaguely as he can, deliberately omitting things. I'm glad you asked, Harry. The Union is going to build a modern youth centre in Martin Aids. It will be righteous. We're going to get those teenagers off drugs and on roller skates. Roller skating, not drugs, Harry. You like this. There's a nameless little street on the coast with some old houses around it. Most people have already signed. I just need two more signatures to get this mission off the ground, Harry. Yes, yes, the little cul-de-sac on the coast, where all the men have drowned in either the sea or the bottle. A gloomy place doesn't have that union attitude. You're already pretty deep into this. What's a little more? No one can see you here in Martinez. They are just going to have to deal with the construction noise for six months and then they'll be living like kings. Right next to a fancy new youth centre designed by the best architects from Stella Marie. Is he absolutely sure the tenants won't be thrown out in the street? Am I? Harry, these people, Martin A's is the most important thing in my life. I would never let anything bad happen to them. We're going to build a youth centre there. The value of their properties goes up and kids have a place to play in. I'm looking out for these people, not pulling the rug from under them, Harry. I'm looking out for all of Martinez, not just the harbour. He means it. You bring joy to my heart, Harry. Such a pleasure to be working with you. Here. You need to get signatures from Isabel Sadie and Lillian Carter. The cul-de-sac is right past the pawn shop and across the canal. I heard there was some trouble with the water lock, but it should be fixed now. Once you have the signatures, mail this to 13022 La Roca in La Delta. Then we can talk about your gun. I don't know what that means, Harry. Shady brew? There are so many moving parts in my operation, I can't keep track of them all. You know what? Don't even tell me. Whatever it is, do it. Surprise me. Just one thing. If you can, make it even shadier. He sincerely has no idea what you were talking about. And he doesn't care either. See you soon, Debardeur. Just kidding, but not too much. <laughs>